trying to conquer the world. I made it through the storm, trying to conquer the world. Coming from where I come from. They doubted me, but I came up. I made it through the storm, trying to conquer the world. I made it through the storm, trying to conquer the world. I made it through the storm, trying to conquer the world. Good reporting as Mickey. We love you, Mickey. What's up, what's up? It's your girl, Mickey Truth, a.k.a. Mickey Facts. And I'm back with another video. As always, all information contained in this video is for entertainment purposes only. All information used in this video is part of the Fair Use Act. And all conclusions that you may draw is on you, not me. Let's get into it. So, I don't know if y'all have been wondering like I've been wondering... Why haven't any charges been filed for the case of Sydney, which is the female victim um, that was shot in the night that takeoff was killed? It's been on my mind. I don't know about y'all, but nothing has been released publicly. So after watching the interview for Sydney, if you haven't already heard, Sydney have spoken out publicly for the very first time to KHOU 11 in Houston. And she told her truth. And I had to hit her up and say, I'm so proud of you for coming out and speaking out. You're going to encourage so many others with your story. And I'm not going to show the whole interview in its entirety. Definitely click the link below in my description for the full interview so that you can um, get all the information that she put out. Check it out just can say I'm just grateful to be here. Um, I had never been in a hospital. I remembered what happened because when I got, I was up the whole time um, after I got shot in the head and I called my mom and told her what happened and it kind of the sting in the back of my head. I felt myself falling and the person I was with picked me up and we got in the car, but it was just, it was like a real, like a scary movie, really. <laughs> to Ironically, it was Halloween night. I had, I had on a um, nun outfit, I had blood on. Definitely all prayers up for Sydney because it, I can only imagine how much strength it took for her to get on television to speak her truth. So definitely um, salute to her, prayers to her, as I've been saying since the beginning when I figured out who she was. Um, it made me go back, listen to her story, to the live I did when we broke down the video. And as she stated what she had on, we figured that out, right? And just look how close she was to everything. Like, I can only imagine the fear, the traumatization that she's going through. And I hope that she's able to heal and move past this at some point. Sure. Now, that's the alleged female victim standing right there. Put your curse right, on. This is Right here, she's in the same outfit as the styled by Sydney. Uh, the other, the other. After the interview aired, um, Sydney's mom went to Instagram and thanked everybody for the donation and sharing the GoFundMe post, which is definitely in the description. Continue to share if you can. She also had another story post that she let it be known they're ready for whatever is going to come with telling their story and the exact words was actually the struggle is real and they're ready for war so prayers to the family um strength to the family as they continue to get through this tough time and as always i'm going to continue to support in any way i can um i've been doing that since the beginning and i will continue to do so um like i check on sydney um every so often i try not to overwhelm her or bombard her by definitely being you know sending words of encouragement things like that behind the scenes um all that so i'm definitely proud to see her growth and her getting back to normal or what if that even is a normal at this point you know um, but I am still curious to why nothing has been done or said um, publicly, okay? Because we don't know what's going on behind the scenes. But I did reach out to Houston Homicide Department, which you heard a snippet earlier in the video. I'm going to go ahead and play it now. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. 
and I'm gonna holler at y'all in the next one. Help you. Yes, I'm not sure if I need to speak with a homicide detective, but I was calling for a update on uh well it's a known homicide case, but I'm calling in regards to the victim that survived. Um is do I still speak with homicide or do I speak with another department? No, if someone died we still handle it, uh whether somebody survived or not. Okay, so the the case is um the takeoff case for rapper takeoff. Okay. okay um, what do you have to do with that? Well, I don't. I'm a blogger, and I asked at that point um a status update. Surviving victim has did an interview, just but we still haven't heard from the public um exactly what's going on with if any charges or anything is going to be done on her behalf. When they're ready to give an update on that case, they will give an update on that case. Okay, so... That's what I tell, I, that's what I tell everybody. So, when they're ready to do their update and give public information to the public, they will do that. All right, I'll use that. Thank you. Good reporting as Mickey. We love you, Mickey!